Today we're going to cover a really common issue with ducted heating systems in Australian homes. Ducted heating, like evaporative cooling, could potentially be your next largest point of air leakage in your home. The ducted heating return is where the air comes from all of the outlets throughout the building envelope. They get filtered and then the air gets reheated again and introduced back into the building envelope via the actual supply outlets. So a leaky return is a little bit similar to driving your car with the heater on and your window open. So it's really important that the return is as airtight as possible because whatever air is getting sucked in directly from outside via the return, you will be pressurizing on the supply side to push outside of the building envelope. That's air that's coming directly from outside of your home, not being filtered, and also potentially coming from your garage where you could have carbon monoxide, or even from directly from outside where your neighbors may be burning off. The return can also be the main entry point for spiders and insects and I guess even rats. So air tightness of ducted heating systems is absolutely important and pivotal for the overall efficiency for heating a home. The, the other important thing when it comes to ducted heating uh, is having all your doors open for your ducted heating system. Your supply vents uh, need to be able to get air back to the return. As Soon as you start pushing air directly to the outside via those rooms because the door is closed and you might have wall vents in those rooms, means that on the supply side, it's gonna start drawing in air wherever it can on the return side, which is at this point. Now, economically, you could be paying an extra $200 a year for the displeasure of having one of these ducted heating returns completely open to your roof void or your underfloor. We're gonna tape up the return and all the supply vents for the ducted heating system. To see how much the ducted heating system is contributing to air leakage in this home. So, here we go. So, here's another one. Here's a supply vent. We're going to tape up and we're going to test it and see what the leakage rate is. Then, pull all the tape off and then run another test and see what the leakage difference is. 4 ACH at 50 Pascal. That's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Isn't it? It's really good. Now that's with your ducted heating system sealed up Still. though. Should we do a, just a quick check and we'll, we'll take off that and tape the, from yeah. the ducted heating system, see how it changes yeah. the number. So we're, we're getting quite a lot of pressure coming from the ducted heating system, which tells me that there's a massive hole in the ducted heating system. So I'm gonna take off the plastic from the return on the ducted heating system. Point six. And what was it before, with everything taped up? Uh, 4.4. 4. 4. So there you go, 1.2. We pressure test many homes all over Victoria, Australia, and ducted heating systems seem to be the most common issues that we're finding. They leak up to one to five ACH while the ducted heating system is actually running. So it's really important that you get this fixed today. 